Here we're going to see how my parents install a water softener. My brother's going to give voice for this video. Let's begin. Complete installation of Morton Water Softener MC30. We bought this one from Costco. Disclaimer, we are not professional plumbers. Make sure to take extra caution before you begin these steps. Do your own research. We are not responsible for any issues, risks, or accidents if you follow our video to install. This way of installation worked well for us, and we saved a few hundred dollars by ourselves. And we are having our softener in our home more than a year without any issues. Before you begin, make sure to know how to shut off the main water connection. We have turned off the main water connection from the CD line. Once you have turned off the water, open a couple of faucets to make sure you have completely drained your water from the pipes. Took all the parts necessary. Do not continue if you miss any part. Open the new softener box and make sure you have everything for your job and there are no broken pieces. You need additional parts for this installation. Please see the description below for the details. Now we have verified everything. Let us continue. As this is the first time softener installation for this home, we must open the pre-plumbed water softener loop. Make sure to remove the debris and clean through the pipe should be super clean for the installation to work well. This is the drain tubing as well as the overflow tubing. Take a measurement and cut as much as needed for the drain and overflow. Take the hose clamp and insert using plier on the tube. Apply some lubricants inside the tube for it to go easily to the drain connection. For overflow installation, apply some lubricant to the grommet and insert to the overflow hole. Then insert the adapter elbow to the grommet. Now do the same procedure you did for the drain tube installation to insert the tube. Installing the bypass valve. Most importantly, verify O-ring. Most of the times we get water leaks because of the improper installation of O-ring. Insert the bypass valve to the slot tight and gently apply the clips to secure the bypass valve. Time to cut the pre-plumbed loop. 
as we are using shark bite fittings. Make sure to do the square cut. This tool is cool to cut this flex pipe. This is a one inch flex pipe. Get your fittings based on your pipe size. It may not always be one inch. Do not forget here to check again the flow of the water. Usually the in water on the right side is the standard, but make sure to test that out. Always keep a bucket handy to capture the water to avoid flooding down. We decided to add a shut off valve here. Follow shark bite guidelines for installing shark bite parts. Two, two feet, one inch, one side female, another side shark bite connectors. One to go from two water softener in, and another from softener to the home. Make a hole to the drain and insert the drain and overflow tubes to the hole. Add three gallons of water and two packs of salt to begin with. Add remaining needed salt later. Make sure to connect the input connector to the input of the bypass valve and connect the output connector to the output of the bypass valve.
plug into the power. Now the softener will turn on. Followed the instructions from the manual here. Once all the connections are made and verified, slowly turn on the water and make sure there are no leaks. If you See any leak, shut the water off and fix it before you proceed. Turn on the service mode and complete the regeneration step as per instructions. It will take 20 to 30 minutes to complete the regeneration process, 2 to 3 days for you to see the water difference in your home.